Hey guys, Jake here, coming at you with another math problem today. Here's what I'm going to be showing you today. Um, we're going to be kind of kicking off a week talking about uh, linearization and differentials. So today I'm just going to be showing you how to apply linearization of a function at a point. Um, and then throughout the rest of the week, we're going to kind of get into some applications and some other uses for this kind of stuff. Um, but here's what we're going to start off with today. Uh, find the linearization of f of x equals x cubed plus 2x at a equals negative 2. So when you're doing a problem like this, you really just want to kind of think about what linearization is. And basically, it's the same as finding an equation of a tangent line at a given point. But basically, to find the linearization of a function, we're just going to say the linearization of a function is just defined like this, f of a plus f prime of a times x minus a. So we have our, our f of x here. We're going to use this, and we're going to use the given a that we're looking at and just kind of plug that into this linearization formula of what a linearization of a function at a point is. So first thing we need to do is find f prime of x, and then we're going to use that to plug that in here along with our f of x and then our a value. So first of all, we want to find f prime, which in this case is pretty straightforward. We're just going to be able to do that using the power rule, right? So bring the 3 down in front, keep our x there, lower the power by 1, 3 minus 1 is 2, and then the derivative of 2x is just 2, the x just kind of falls off. So now we're just going to use this in here uh, in order to find the linearization. So first thing we want to find is f of a. So a is negative 2, we need to find f of negative 2, which basically just means plugging in negative 2 for our x into our function f. So that'll be negative 2 cubed plus 2 times negative 2. Negative 2 cubed is negative 8. And then 2 times minus 2 is negative 4 which will give us negative 12. So f of negative 2 is negative 12. So let's start kind of plugging that in down here. If we're getting our linearization of f, f of negative 2, we're just going to put in negative 12 for that. And then we're going to get plus f prime of negative 2. So now we also need to plug in f prime of negative 2, which is just plugging in negative 2 into f prime of x. So that'll give us 3 times negative 2 squared plus 2. Negative 2 squared is positive 4 times 3 is 12 plus 2 is 14. So f prime of a is just going to be 14. And then we're just going to multiply that by x minus a. a is negative 2, so x minus negative 2 would be x plus 2. And then we can just kind of simplify this by distributing our 14 and then combining like terms. So doing that will give us 14x. And then we're going to have minus 12 plus 28 from distributing the 14 into the 2. And so that leaves us with 28 minus 12, which is plus 16. So this will give us our linearization of our function. 14x plus 16. So like I said, tomorrow I'll start getting into some applications of this, specifically using it to approximate kind of complicated values that you're plugging into functions. So be sure to subscribe, hit that bell icon so you'll be notified, and come back tomorrow and check it out.